So through Ver, uh, through Aeneas's eyes, Virgil sees Helen, Illa, that woman, hiding at the shrines uh, of Vesta as the city of Troy falls around her. And uh, Virgil says, she, that woman, fearing prime metuens, the Trojans, hateful to her on account of overturned Pergamum, and fearing the punishment of the Greeks, and fearing the anger of her deserted husband, that fury common to Troy and to her own country had hidden herself and hated with sitting on the altars or at the altars. Some great word order here, some great Latin um, being written, although to intermediate Latin students, to AP Latin students, I, I can definitely see how this would be uh, difficult. But if we can just see that this is your subject, this is your verb, and then we have three direct objects. She's fearing the Trojans, fearing the punishment of the Greeks, and fearing the anger of her deserted husband, of Menelaus. And all of that is that participial clause. And then the main, the main idea here is she had hidden herself. Um, so we have this chiastic structure of A, B, B, A, right? The, the Trojans hateful to her, that Sibi coming off of Infestos. And the Sibi, the reflexive is used because the subject is, is she, right? She fearing them hateful to herself. And then we have the syncopated form with Dona Orum, the punishment of the Greeks. And then we have the two genitives there coming after Eros, the anger of her deserted husband, who is, of course, Menelaus. And then we have these datives with this adjective here, common to, common to Troy, common to her own country. And then she had hidden herself there, the reflexive direct object. And then one more time, she's in Wisa, the feminine nominative singular here to Agree with Illa way up above, the subject of Sedebot. And this is perhaps missing an in. She was sitting on Ares, in Ares, 